the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. Today's word, it's Jesus' word, can guide your universe. That is a continuation of the four things that the words of Jesus will do in your life. And today we are looking at the third thing. The words of Jesus will guide your universe. Hallelujah. Um, the scripture is from Hebrews chapter number 1 verse 3. And it reads from the Amplifier. He is the sole expression of the glory of God, the light being, the outrain or the radiance of the divine. And he is the perfect imprint and the very image of God's nature, upholding and maintaining and guiding and propelling the universe by his mighty word of power. So we've looked at the first two, upholding and maintaining, and today we are looking at the guiding, the word of God, the words of Jesus are what is guiding the universe. And like we said, the universe consists of the entire creation. Everything in it is being guided by the word of Jesus. When Jesus said that he's coming tomorrow and the world should end everything will end so the buildings we have the cars we have um the airplanes that are flying every day all these things are being held together because the word of god is holding the universe together and the words of jesus is guiding everything by the power of his mighty hand i want you to know this that you have to decide as an individual in your own universe in your own small universe in your universe of friends your universe of work or school in your universe of family in your universe of of activities that you are engaged in who is guiding you who advises you who directs you who serves as a model for your life who serves as as the one you look up to in what you are doing in your work in your school in your marriage as a husband as a wife as a child what guides you in your decisions what guides you in the things that you decide to do in your office if you decide to take a bribe if you decide to cheat someone if you decide not to be to to practice integrity because of the Ill pressure of finances the question is who is your guide who is advising you who is directing the things you are doing on a daily basis and i want you to know that the words of jesus is able to steer your life is able to guide your conduct is able to control and influence everything you do when you allow the words of jesus to take control over your life he's going to be your guide he's going to be the one who is going to lead you into excellence into fulfillment i'm telling you that everything the devil is doing is not as powerful as what the words of jesus can guide you to do sometimes the things that the words of jesus ask us to do may seem very challenging and difficult but take a step be bold this is a month of restoration this is a month of perfected health this is a month of life in abundance in jesus christ john chapter 10 verse 10 the b says that the, the whole verse says that he said the devil come to steal to kill and to destroy but jesus said i have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly so jesus is the one who is able to give life in abundance and if you are going to have abundant life in jesus is going to depend on your commitment your dedication and your heart that you are going to give to what he is leading and guiding you to do if you give yourself over to the things of this world you allow situations and circumstances to guide you and detect how you are going to live i'm telling you that one day you are going to regret it because you will not finish the things God wants you to do. You may be a minister of the gospel. It doesn't matter. You may be an apostle. You may be a prophet. You may be a teacher. You may be a, 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 a professor, a doctor. It does not matter your position and your status in life. There is someone who holds the universe in place by his words. And this someone is applying to be your guide, to be your advisor, to be the one who serves as a model, a model for you, who serves as the one who is an example example for you to emulate and i'm challenging you to allow him to take the place of influence and control in your life let jesus's word influence your prayer life let jesus's words influence how you think how you walk how you eat how you do everything and you are going to have the abundance life that jesus has promised in this very life
life and continue in it when this world is over. Very soon, Jesus is coming. Believe it or not, he's coming and he's coming very soon. And his words will matter in how your life is going to be lived after this world is no more. I want you to know that Jesus has not left your life to chance. He is in the process and he is in involved and he is the one who is in charge and in control. Will you hear him? Will you listen to him? Will you let his counsel matter to you? Will you let what he says in his word com, com, be the one that is the code of conduct and the code of art ethics for your decisions in life? Please, let Jesus be your pilot this week. Let Jesus be your guide this week. Let Jesus be your shepherd this week. Let Jesus be the one who is ushering you this week. And he will usher you into breakthroughs. Usher you into miracles. Usher you into victory. Usher you into overcoming all the arrows and the plot of the wicked one. He will usher you away from things that could have grounded your life in disaster. And you are going to see glorious manifestations of his mighty hand in every area of your life. You are blessed and I want you to know, take hold of Jesus' word and let this words be deeply rooted in your heart. Your life will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Amen. This has been Moment of Truth and this is the word from Home Builders Ministries Worldwide. We are opening our doors wherever you are in the world. Does not matter what you are involved in, we believe in the anointing and the power of God over each and every individual's life. And if you are willing to join hands with us to know what we can do in your community and be a blessing to people, to be a wonderful thing to be part of this ministry, let us hear from you and divinely advance in victory. In Jesus' name, Amen. <music>